Hello, this is to show you how uh, to model an electricity distribution network with Automation Studio. Here we can see a distribution network. We have uh, three transformer. We have transformer 1, transformer 2 and transformer 3. Here we have a distribution network and we can connect in different uh, configuration the transformer. We can have either them stand alone, meaning working alone, or have them in parallel. We can have transformer 1 with transformer 2, 2 and 3, or transformer 1, 2 and 3. Okay. And here are the numbers 1, 20, 19. These represents our loads. These can either be, for example, our industrial network, or a residential network, or any type of electrical uh, network. And this uh, network is controlled by your interface, which is in fact our control panel. We have here our three transformer. This is represents transformer one, transformer two, and transformer three. As well here, we have our configuration of the network. We can either put in parallel T2 and T3, T1 and T3, Radial, that means they can work each one separately, and this, they go in parallel T1, T2, and T3. And here we have a display panel, which I'll explain in a bit. Okay, in fact, the way that uh, this distribution network's uh, functions is that it needs a minimum threshold voltage to work properly. For example, here, it's at 120. So, this is in fact the minimum voltage that needs to be at a load anywhere in the network so it can work properly. For example here, it can be any point, it can be load 15, load 25, which represents any kind of neighborhood or residential uh, network. So this load has to be 120, it has to be anywhere at the minimum depending on the configuration. So let's put an example here. Let's put here 110 and let's put here a configuration t2 and t3 in parallel so when we put this configuration we can see that t2 and t3 are in parallel by the red line and when here i put my minimum voltage 110 it's going to adjust the output voltage in accordance to this one to, with this 110 volts so here now it arranged itself to 115 at the output of the transformer so a transformer two and three has to be, has to have 115 as an output voltage. So we get a minimum voltage here of 110. Okay. So let's here, let's do another one. Let's put, for example, 125 volt as our minimum voltage. So now to get 125 as the minimum voltage, we need an output voltage of 129.9 at transformer T2 and T3. So we're here for T2 and T3, we need a 129 output voltage in order to get 115, 125 sorry, as a threshold minimum voltage. Okay, and another thing I can explain to you in the control panel here, this represents, it's to manually change the tap of the transformer. Here we have the transformer tap, okay, this is tap number 8. Each transformer and your network located here have 17 tap that can be switched. And these automatically get updated depending on the minimum voltage we put here. For example, here put again 115. It's going to choose the right, the right tap in order to have our output voltage. Okay. So now we need tap number nine in order to get an output voltage of 120 volts. And here this represents here our hysteresis. 
okay, which is two volt. This is just have this in, in order to put so the system can work uh, properly. For example, if we were either put zero or point one or very minimum hysteresis or uh, or uh, transformer would go would switch from the zone in and out to work to have the functioning the properly functioning zone. So we need this in order to have a stable system basically. And this uh, threshold voltage, it has been, it's the way it works, the way it uh, calculates here the, the output voltage of transformer, it's calculated here by SFC. So it's done by sequential function chart. So here we have all the logic that controls or regulates our minimum threshold voltage so in order to have a proper uh, output voltage our transformer so this video was just to present you a little overview of how it works and I would like to uh, finish by thanking you uh, for your time